When it comes to public markets, many foodies consider Seattle's Pike's Place Market tops in the country. Created 100 years ago to bring farmers and consumers together, it now spans nine acres along the Puget Sound, and it's famous for its fish flying fun. Some 10 million visitors stop by each year, making it one of the most popular tourist attractions in Washington State. The downtown Phoenix Public Market, a not-for-profit, took root just over three years ago in a parking lot at Pierce Street and Central Avenue, and is now thriving. In the tradition of its big sister in Seattle, the mission is to create a gathering space to bring local farmers and people who dig the local food movement together. Executive Director Cindy Gentry never dreamed her passion would make her one of the hippest people in town. Buying local, um, it's amazing that we happen to be trendy. <laughs> Didn't plan it like that. There's some um, amazing trend going on here. We did $631,000 gross last year, all our vendors. We'll probably hit well over 800000 On Saturday mornings and Wednesday evenings, you'll find the freshest seasonal produce. Just look at these tomatoes. Farm fresh eggs, fresh baked whole grain breads, jewelry and clothing, and much more, all locally sourced. Most of the food that we have in the market is um, 35 miles. The food, on the other hand, that you get in the grocery store may come from 1,500 miles. They say local foods are fresher, healthier, and require less gas, which means a smaller carbon footprint. And then the fact of economic development. The money um, that is paid to these vendors stays in the community. 42 new, brand new businesses have gotten their start here. Now our city's green gem is taking another big step by opening a six day a week market and deli in a historic building located on the current site. The truth is that um, the leap, the, the move into the store is a leap. It's terrifying, it's risky, um, but if we don't do it, we're always gonna be right here. Gentry is working with the city's Development Services Department to transform the vacant building into a modern mecca. Building safety codes change over time and that can be a real challenge for older buildings. Uh, basically what we have here is uh, roughly 2,400 square feet of, of retail, so that's going to serve as the actual uh, marketplace. And then we also have roughly 1,500 square feet of, of, of a deli takeout type restaurant. And so with that type of use going into an existing uh, structure like that, we had to do some upgrades. Including a ventilation system for cooking, fire safety exits, and modifications to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The project is utilizing the international existing building code, which helps simplify the process of modifying an older building for a new use. In this building, uh, we're not necessarily going to do fire sprinkler system in here, but we utilize a provision to compartmentalize the building with a uh, two-hour fire-rated firewall, and and so that that can uh, create a, a savings um, for the for the occupants, for the owners, and but still provide just the same level of safety for this size of building. Plan review is complete and permits are ready to be pulled, meaning the city has given the project a green light. I cannot ask for more common sense, responsive expertise on their part. There's just one thing holding this project back. Not pesky money thing. <laughs> the nonprofit organization is looking to raise a couple hundred thousand dollars. And with Gentry and her team's track record, you can bet it'll just be a matter of time. The market is now open Saturday mornings from 8 to noon and Wednesday evenings from 4 to 8 p.m. For directions and information on how you can donate your time or money, visit downtownphoenixpublicmarket.com. Expect to see the Downtown Phoenix Public Market continue to grow, and one day it may even look a little like that public market in Seattle. And that is exactly the way to think about it. What um, will the significance of this work be? Will it last? Is it classic? Is it relevant? Is it needed? And yes, I have those grandiose visions.